Hello YouTubers, I'm Veena. Today I'm going to share my first story of short story series. It's about a stranger who helped my father in foreign land. My father is a simple man. He worked with Indian Railways. True to his profession, he enjoyed traveling by train and had never boarded a flight until 2003. He was forced to travel by plane to visit my sister in Virginia, USA. Back then, airline tickets were booked through travel agent and so my father went to a travel agent, got himself a ticket to Dallas, Texas and emailed the tickets to my sister. This was pre-cell phone era when telephone did not live in your pocket and communication was either by landline or emails. As the travel date came closer, my father was anxious and excited. He spoke to my sister before starting his journey and my sister calmed him, assuring she will be at the gate waiting for him at the airport. He boarded the maiden flight to Texas via Frankfurt. The journey was long and arduous, but my father enjoyed it having copious amount of orange juice and pretzels. The flight landed on time at Texas. He finished immigration formalities, collected his luggage and made his way to the gate for my sister, who was nowhere to be seen. The wait seemed to be endless. Each minute seemed to be like an hour. While he waited at the gate, a gentleman came by and inquired his whereabouts. My father introduced himself and said he was traveling to Virginia from India. The gentleman said, Sir, this is Texas and Virginia is two hours away by flight from here. My father repeated, he was waiting for his daughter to pick him from the airport. The gentleman repeated, Sir, this is Texas. You have to take another flight to Virginia. My father was overwhelmed. He could not follow what the gentleman said. His eyes were moist and voice cracked. He repeated his story all over again. The kind stranger helped my father with his luggage, took him to the ticketing counter and asked for my sister's address, bought him a ticket to Duke's ID. He said, here is your ticket. You need to take a taxi to domestic airport and catch the flight to Duke. As my father made his way to exit, he saw someone holding a placard with his name. Immediately he approached the person and introduced himself. My sister had realized the travel agent had booked the ticket to wrong destination. Instead of dual ID, he chose Dallas, Texas. Luckily, my brother-in-law had a relative who lived in Texas and readily agreed to help my father with the transit. My father mentioned a stranger had already purchased a ticket for him and the flight will depart in 90 minutes. The relative dropped my father at domestic airport and informed my sister with updated flight details. Finally, my father joined my sister safely. To this day, we do not know who the stranger is who came from nowhere to help my father, purchased him a flight ticket and did not take a penny in return. While my father had thanked him profusely, he was overwhelmed and missed to ask for the details. I call the stranger as guardian angel. Some of us are blessed and may have met our guardian angels and experience the miracle. All of us have an opportunity to be that guardian angel to make a difference in someone's life. I know you want to be that angel, don't you? Thank you for listening to my story. Do share, subscribe to my YouTube channel See you soon with more real life story of real people.